The airports were a chaos again this weekend, and it is no better this morning. 1,300 cancellations and 700 delays already, and it's only 11 Eastern. The millions of Americans who plan a summer getaway are getting anxious, and probably they're getting angry too. Blame vaccine policy. Why are airline staff banned from working for not getting a jab that doesn't work? Blame retirement policy. It's an emergency. Can't we allow pilots to fly after age 65? Blame training policy. They can't find enough trained and vaccinated air traffic controllers. Same with the TSA. Well, here comes July the 4th, and it's not looking good. Airlines have cut their summer schedules quite dramatically, actually. So you face the unfortunate choice. Buy a ticket and face cancellation and delay, or don't buy a ticket because none's available and you can't afford it anyway. What a choice. The airlines demand a meeting with Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, but having done little to fix the supply chain problem, he is unlikely to resolve the airline travel problem anytime soon. It's going to be a summer of discontent. For what it's worth, here's my advice. Take the first flight out. Take direct flights. Don't check bags. Invest in clear or global entry to avoid the worst of the TSA lines. And please, share a thought for those airline workers who have to bear the brunt of passenger anger. The gate agent, customer service people, flight attendants, TSA uh, folks. They are frontline workers, just like doctors and nurses during the pandemic. It is not their fault. Third Hour of Varney starts right now.